Hello guys, uh, in this video I would like to explain that how we can download climate data for free. Uh, why I'm doing this uh, video? The reason or the main reason or sometime you have climate data for some duration but you have missing values and you have techniques to fill those values like regression technique, weighted average technique, uh, imputation techniques and many others. You can fill those values but if the values are large in number like months, two months, three months or in some cases it can be years uh, when the meteorological or the hydrological stations is a remote area like the mountain area or uh, when there is no you know axis of the pupil and maybe there is problem in the device particularly in the winter season or in the uh, season which is like very warm weather or very cold weather so in that case you can have more missing values and sometime then you need to do the met statistical method to impute those values may be problematic because of the large number of values in that case you can download the data for free from nasa website and you can replace those values so this is the one reason the other, the other reason is uh, in some countries particularly in developing countries the the network of the stations is not that strong or congested so uh, in a large area you can see one station so this data with the help of this data you can download at any point and you can you know fill the gaps and you can have more data and you can have better analysis so these are the two reasons you can use this for further reasons and the other thing the other thing is that this data is available for much more variable and you can download uh, the variable of your choice like temperature at 2 meter, precipitation, and wind speed, humidity and so on. You will see how many variables are there so you can download it and you can do your analysis. Uh, what is data and this is this is the basic question in fact I should ask this question earlier. Nowadays in which we have much more data is available and there are number of sources of the data. Everything we are every decision we are ba is based on data like data science if we remove data from data science what is there then that's the importance of data machine learning what you will do with machine learning if you don't have data so the modern techniques and the data science and such type of fields which gain popularity in the recent years as you know without data what you will do with those techniques with the data with the science then and also with the machine learning and other techniques so with the data we can come to conclusion and we we make our decision based on data like temperature and precipitation trend and uh, then you break the future and you are making some good decision to reduce and optimize the risk i will just show you a, a gamy typhoon which just crossed the taiwan uh, it was here. Uh, it is not shown now, fortunately. So that was based on the data. The path was predicted. The st the, the the strength was predicted, and then the people were already aware about these things by using media, television, and so the people were uh, evacuated from that areas from those areas. To reduce the risk and this was based on the data and using state-of-the-art techniques you can see this is another cyclone you can see this is uh, yes 45 kilometer per hour forecast so this is yes starting from here and coming here and yes so you, you can do many things with the data you can do in currently in the in, the, in, the, in this in this age you have a lot of decision, data driven decision, and this is very important nowadays that we have data driven decision. We have more data, we have nice techniques, we come come up with the nice conclusion which reduce reduce the risk. So this was all about the data was general. Now let's go to the data that how you can download our data. I have this website already open, but if you want to start it like this, Google. Download 
data from NASA website, or you can say climate from NASA. This is, you will see, yes, this is the website, NASA power, this. Just click on this and you will see the same website which I had already. And this website is given in the description of this video. So you don't need to worry, just go and click and download the data, which data you would like to use. So this is my website already. So you can go and just click somewhere here, single point if you want to download for single point. And then you need to choose user community and user community means sustainable buildings, uh, agroclimatology or renewable energy. So whatever you like, these are different. Then the data will be available according to that. Temporal level, uh, this mean resolution. So hourly, I don't need hourly. I will go for daily or for monthly or annual. So let's see daily, okay, for me. Let you let's me use um, somewhere some place from the United States. I will go for Miami, suppose. So I will click on Miami. So you will see this is the latitude and longitude of Miami. Just click on this. Keep mouse on this. Don't click. Click on mouse on this. And the bottom left bottom corner right bottom corner not left right bottom corner you will see the latitude and longitude here like this so just keep the mouse here this is 25592 is the latitude just right here 20 what was that 25 at 6 oh this is already mentioned 25 at 6 and this should be Minus 80.07. Okay, just look, we click on this. So maybe the center automatically should you need to write then. Let's go back to the United States and Miami. Yeah, it is already entered. So no problem, you don't need to write it. So it is already entered. You know, I click on this and the place for which I download, I would like to download the data. So it is already entered here. So I don't need that. Now the important thing is time duration. For which time duration you need to download this data? Uh, I would like to go for month. That is one. One and 83. Okay, so one one nineteen eighty three, and I would like to download until twelve. This is the month, and then thirty first, thirty first December two thousand twenty three. Thirty years data, thirty or thirty one, forty. Yes, so this is this is the data. This is depend on your data. If you're missing data, so you can download for the specific period and you may have uh, you want to download data for the whole duration, you can do like this. Now parameter search. Look at this, you have a lot of variables about which I was talking, and I just need this temperature at two meter. And then I need precipitation, and you can use relative humidity at two meters, specific humidity, temperature at two meter, minimum temperature at two meter, maximum. So you can do like this if you want. Just remove this and go for maximum and minimum temperature. Maximum, minimum, and precipitation and the variable which you want, you can go for other variable if you like. For me, these are three variables. So this is just for me. And if you want to more, you can do more. So this is the selection which we have made. Advanced parameter, I don't need about, I don't need to do that. I download uh, data and in the format, 
you can use uh, CSV format, which is if you are familiar with this very much. ASCII, you can use this if you are interested. NITCD, Common Data Network Format, you can use this one as well. And ICAS, you can use this if you are interested or if it is applicable and you are familiar with. I will just go for this and submit. Yes, to download it here. Let's open the file and see. So this is the file, the file uh, in which the data is downloaded. And this is the information about the, the data. Uh, resolution is daily. The duration is date, date, month, day, year. Remember, this is the format. So the data start from 1, 1, 1983 to 12, 31, 2023. This is 41 year data. So you can download, yeah, I think 41 data, 41 year data, daily data is much enough for analysis. And this is the latitude and longitude, the Miami. So you can, you can, you also know the location, but this is, and this is about the variables. So what type of data I have, uh, this is year and day. There is no month, there is a day. So the day started, remember, you can write month by yourself, but this is year and month is 31 and then 32 and so on. So one year have 365 days, remember, and then then there is another year. So you can, you can distinguish between the end of the year 1983 until here it is ended 365, then the first day of 1984 started and so on until the end. Yeah, like this, 2023, 365, you can go and you can see the first day of 2023. Yes, this is the first day of 2023. And now the variables. For me, this is the maximum temperature at 2 meter, minimum temperature at 2 meter, and this is the precipitation corrected. Remember, it is mentioned here. Somewhere here. Hey, yes. Uh, precipitation corrected. Okay. And millimeter per day is the unit and degree centigrade for temperature maximum and minimum. You can see, look at this. So this is your, your data now for three variables and uh, for Miami, remember, for the United States. You can go and you can see Miami again. So this for this one, you can select for any region. For India, suppose, for South Africa, for any station in Kenya, Nairobi, whatever, for India, Bangladesh, China, whatever you want. So just go and click. Suppose you are interested in New, New Delhi. And this will be selected. Remember the, the uh, now look at this. It has changed. This is from New Delhi. So you can click anywhere now for Japan or whatever. And you can select this data. It's reliable data, nice data, and you can do your analysis. I hope I explained well. So if you need any question, you can write in the comments. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. So this is all about the climate data to download for free from NASA website. The website is given in the links and the, in the description of uh, the link to this website. Our data is given in the description of this video. So you, you don't need to worry. Just go and click and you will um, you will, will just browse this page like this and then you can go and download. Uh, so I think this is enough for today and thank you very much and see you in the next video. Ciao.